Good. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> um, my name is Bob Breen. I'm the associate, the assistant chair to the uh, zoning board of appeals for um, North Reading, and um, I'd like to um, uh, call the meeting to order. Uh, Maria, I know that you're um, remote at the moment, so if you could just hit mute on your um, on your device, just to um, uh, keep the. Uh... So uh, for the assembled um, uh, board tonight, um, you hear me? Again, we... Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, we're joined by Maria Lockhart and uh, Vincent Ragucci. Um, and the, I'd like to call the uh, meeting to order. Um, before we uh, proceed to our first uh, agenda ma matter, um, I'd like the uh, the assembled board, since we to just select the um, the next meeting date for June, because in the event that we um, put anything over, um, I'd like that date up front so that we know um, what we're doing here uh, for for future meeting purposes. And to that point, if we're looking at June, um, we are consistently meeting on Thursdays. Uh, my suggestion it would be either June 9th or the 16th. Um, and uh, I'm open to anybody. Um... Bob, I won't be here the 16th. Okay, uh, that's helpful. Uh, Vincent, any problem with June 9th? No, the 9th is good. Okay, uh, Maria? Um, at this time, is June 9th okay for you? I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't have my calendar in front of me. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, we'll just, uh, I know that Jen will be available. I spoke with her earlier. Uh, so um, we'll just put it on for June 9th. And um, and if it if it results in a need to um, amend or change that, we'll, we'll have Kathy notice everybody. Thank you. Great. Okay, uh, for the first matter, um, uh, now with regard to the agenda that's assembled here, um, Kathy, if you can just put the screen back up so I can see the, um, the people who are uh, attending. Um, and uh, Kathy, do you have the ability to mute? Anybody? I'm just getting, uh, I don't know, Vincent, are you picking up the background noise for Maria? Yeah, she actually, actually she must have just hit it. Okay, thank you, Maria. Um, is uh, we have um, three continued matters, two of which involve the same property, that being uh, three forty Main Street, and I'm uh, I'm interested in finding out if any of the the applicants or uh, parties to those matters uh, are here, or if Kathy has any status on their. Um, I know there's a letter. Joanne Hoxer and Sean Ferris uh, is here for the uh, 340, both of them, Main Street. Okay. Uh, I know the, uh, the petitions were brought by, in the case of 340 Main Street for the permit for the detail and auto repair shop by Michael Lewis. It's Michael Lewis here and or um, somebody designated as his representative. Okay, uh, with regard to 340 Main Street, um, open the discussion to the panel if there's any thoughts on further continuance for that purpose or if, before I do that, excuse me. Uh, Kathy, have you had any conversation or return response from the um, applying parties? Michael Laws, no, I haven't heard anything from him. Okay, I'm sorry, I misread it, it is Michael Laws. Um, uh, I'm open to the um, conversation within the uh, the board as to what uh, what we should do attending to this. How, Kathy, just offhand, if you might know, how many times has this been made it to our agenda and has been continued? This is the second time that he would not have shown up for the hearing. Uh, I'll defer to um, a more veteran member, Joel, uh, Jerry, and or Kathy. Um, what is the usual practice of the board? Uh, Vincent, myself, and Maria are still in our first year serving, and I'd just like to, um, I in all honesty, I want to allow fairness not only to the applying party, but to the um, to uh, the members of the community that have uh, efforted to uh, to join uh, tonight in in 
to comment on their uh, their ap application for the permit. I think he could um, either withdraw with prejudice or you could do it without prejudice. Um, I think it's two years. Um, yes, with prejudice. Yeah. Um, the, the problem is here, you can't get a hold of them. Yeah, even the um, uh, owner of the property said he hasn't been in contact with them. Uh, any thoughts from the panel, the, uh, the board? I'm at a loss on this one for not even trying. Well, in, in my view, um, well, as draconian as, um, well, the withdrawal, he, we, that's, that's attendant to his uh, action. We can't withdraw on his behalf. By the same token, uh, this being him, uh, that the applying party having had two opportunities in the past, um, my position is that um, we dismiss the matter. Uh, and now the question is uh, with or without prejudice, again, as Kathy and uh, was Jerry, uh, this was just noted, it carries with it a, um, an inability to reapply for a two year period. That is a little strong, but at the same time, um, uh, you know, opportunities and efforts have been made uh, to accommodate the, the applicants. Did you say with or with, without prejudice, they can come back? Um, so, or with, with prejudice, they could come back because I don't want to do something permanent. I'd like to give them one more opportunity if it's going to be a two year thing for them. We could continue it again if you like. Maybe one more time until Cheryl's back and then we we'll, can make a final decision at that point. Okay, uh, in light of, I appreciate that uh, thought. Um, what I would, what I would recommend doing, and I appreciate the board's input on this, is continuing it for status only until our um, June uh, 9th meeting, at which time uh, the applicant will either appear or not. And uh, at that time, failure. So in other, if, uh, if the applicant does appear, um, the hearing matter will be then put on a formal date that will afford uh, that party to notify and publish and uh, accordingly let everybody that would be in a butter or anybody else in the community aware of, a, of a, an actual hearing date. So in other words, by pushing, pushing it over for final continuance for status until June 9th, if the party fails to appear, the applicant, um, the board will then decide whether to uh, dismiss it with or without prejudice. If, he, if the applicant were to appear, uh, we will at that time um, put it over for a, a final formal hearing date and in no way um, burden the uh, members of the community, butters, neighbors, et cetera, from having to um, to once again appear on June 9th with maybe just the hope that the um, the applicant will appear. So uh, any thoughts from the uh, board um, on that um, suggestion? Yeah, I agree. I, I think I agree. I think yeah, fine. I agree as well. That sounds good. Okay, so if, um, if somebody could take, uh, so just to be clear to anybody who has appeared here tonight uh, regarding the special permit application by Michael Laws to open a detail and auto repair shop at 340 Main Street. Our continuing this matter for status until June 9th is meant to only afford the applicant opportunity to appear before the board to let us, uh, to uh, um, inform us of um, the activity there to attendant for that permit application. So if you are here tonight for 340 main attendant, in this case to the detail and auto repair shop, you're under no obligation to appear on June 9th. Um, and if the applicant uh, appears and discusses their application in, in greater detail and status, if a date is then established, you would be noticed or given opportunity to appear at a further date. So again, um, you don't have to plan on being with us on June 9th, uh, you're more than welcome to. It's an open meeting. 
but in the event that um, you're not available, uh, <laughs> nothing will be determined other than whether or not the applicant will have opportunity uh, to be heard uh, fully. So with that in mind, I would move to um, continue the matter of 340 Main Street submitted by Michael Laws seeking a special permit in use for a detail and auto repair shop uh, to be continued for status and evaluation only until June 9th. Can I get I'll a second? second that. I'll second that. Uh, all in favor? I'm Maria Lockhart. I, Vin Ragucci. I, Bob Brain. Um, so, uh, the, uh, again, 340 Main Street continued for status till June 9th. Um, regarding another matter attendant to the same property, that being 340 Main Street, the special permit use for construction landscaping business, uh, the applicant, in, again, in that regard, uh, Joseph Saya, uh, uh, to up front, uh, Kathy, has there been any contact response uh, he or? He did contact me today and he sent me an email saying that he was not going to be able to make the meeting because he was um, traveling on a plane. Um, okay, thank you for that information. Uh, again, to the assembled um, uh, parties, is anybody uh, neighbors, abutters, general community uh, here for um, in support or in opposition to the 340 Main Street construction and landscaping business. Um, I see uh, Alex Garino. Hi, good evening, Ms. Ms. Garino. Hi. Uh, yeah. uh, and I've got uh, Sean being acknowledged. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Uh, uh, my name Go ahead. Yeah, my name is Sean Ferris. I'm with uh, Greater Boston Real Estate Advisors. Um, I've been in uh, communications and working with uh, Joe in regards to uh, finding a suitable tenant, and he wants to bring his landscape business over there. I think he's a little bit confused about how the process works, um, and I, I've been in working with him over the last few weeks in great detail about it. Um, and I haven't been in, in contact with him uh, in the last couple of days, but he's uh, expecting to uh, uh, call. I'm expecting a call from him or he's, a, you know, or I get to reach out to him in the next few days. So okay. I, I'm assuming that he would like a continuance. Okay, thank you, uh, Sean. So um, uh, other than Ms. Garino, thank you. Uh, Paul, uh, is there anybody else on the uh, on the Zoom tonight uh, regarding uh, 340 Main for that for the uh, purpose of the landscaping application? Okay. Um, given that we've uh, my I'm open to uh, to the board for any uh, conversation or thoughts regarding uh, Mr. Say's. Um, application how long has this one been carried bob uh bits and you you and i and jerry and uh, maria probably have seen him before but they did go through a period of time where they were trying to evict the existing tenant so that right. was part of the um you know with all due fairness to mr say uh if you couldn't get if that that bogged down um uh, the ability to do anything with the property was always at issue. Um, I will acknowledge that um, obviously alerted um, uh, as a, again, the, the real realtor interest about um, this. Um, my suggestion on this again is um, to put this matter over to uh, June 9th for status only. Uh, also um, uh, uh, to the, um, the, the associate of, um, of Mr. Say, uh, I would urge him to possibly take some time to, um, and Jerry might be able to uh, give us a nod or, or otherwise, but uh, we're trying to, I think we, we have to have the applications for these matters to understand the process that is more than just immediately accessing zoning. 
uh, you know, there are other stages that are preliminary before you reach the need for an appeal to us, which includes more formal um, development of um, the business purpose that is trying to be established there. And to try to run things by this board just to get a sense of um, which way, uh, you know, we might believe is a little, is not the correct order of um, protocol. Um, and to that point, uh, if Jerry might make a suggestion as to how to best um, counsel or what recommendation he might make to the applicant in this matter uh, might alleviate a lot of the delay and or um, or uh, confusion that seems to exist with regard to this. Yeah, he would need to come in with a, uh, a full plan and actually show us what uh, what his plans are. Um, show us what he plans on doing with the building, what he plans on doing with the property. And of course, he needs to stay away from the wetlands as, as much as possible. And if he does have any landscaping, if he does bring any landscaping, it can't be any dyed type material that could potentially leach into the uh, wetlands. But that's something the uh, conservation agent would, would be dealing with. But it, um, I, I would basically just uh, recommend that he brings in a plan, a full plan, a full scope. <clears throat> Uh, thank you, Jerry. So, um, Council from the, uh, Engineering. So, um, in this matter, in a, again, in acknowledgement that Mr. Say uh, did have to deal with the um, the existing tenancy that um, uh, could have been problematic, but they did resolve that. Um, my recommendation or my suggestion might be to also further continue this to June 9th for status only, and in that regard. Uh, anybody who is appearing here tonight, in particular Ms. Garino, you're under no obligation to appear. Nothing is going to come from that meeting that will be final in any way with regard to um, the special permit application uh, submitted by Mr. Say. That notwithstanding, uh, and again, uh, this is something that I think uh, I, I would like to believe the uh, board would agree with me on, that um, our role in this uh, process of business development is not meant to um, uh, to serve as agents to 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 bring about uh, what is needed. That falls to the applicant across all boards, be it planning, be it uh, conservation, be it again zoning if needed, variance. Uh, I mean appeal. So um, uh, while I'm open to Relating the same information to Mr. Say, our time is of value as it is to the community that it appears at these meetings. So again, the status will be just to uh, evaluate the calendar that Mr. Say uh, would be able to present to us for a legitimate application for permitted, per, permitted use as outlined in his, again, application. So again, I would like to, um, uh, move that we continue the 340 Main Street application for special permit for construction landscaping business through applicant Jose, Jose, Jose Zay, say, excuse me, again, to uh, June 9th, the status only. Um, nothing will, again, come of that matter, uh, but it will afford the applicant uh, an opportunity to, um, to advise as to um, uh, his process and position with regard to the viability of that. Um, uh, can I get a second? I'll second that motion. Uh, all in favor? Aye, Vincent Ragucci. Aye, Maria Lockhart. Aye, Bob Breen. Uh, so noted and uh, ordered. So uh, the matter again is continued for status only. So. In the particular case here, Ms. Garino, I appreciate your appearing. Um, it's your option to appear on June 9th to see if Mr. Say appears. Um, even if he were to come with a full um, file and filing and any and all necessary documents, uh, the matter is not going to be heard because notice will be have to be appropriately um, placed for any and all um, interested 
parties, be they neighbors or butters or just members of the community. Um, but again, uh, we're putting it over to afford him uh, just that last chance to um, give us a status attendant to this. So um, thank you for appearing tonight. Um, and um, uh, I, my suggestion might be to you and to anybody else who is interested in this matter, um, contact the town hall on uh, June 10th uh, and just see what um, what is going to um, very likely come of it. Because at that time, uh, we will have heard Mr. Say that the uh, on the 9th, and you'll have a pretty good idea of where uh, that application is proceeding. Thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good evening. Um, uh, with regard to our next matter, 172 Park Street, this was again continued to tonight. Um, uh, Kathy, uh, if you might, um, have you had any uh, input or con oh, excuse me, uh, is anybody on the matter, uh, is on the, um, the meeting tonight for uh, 172 Park Street? Uh, Kathy, if you could, um, has there been any um, follow up with regard to um, uh, to that directly from received from, um, in this case, uh, Jensler or representative um, for Fleet, Fleet Boston? I did hear from um, Rachel from Gess Gensler and um, yes. Michael Beck from, um, I think he's from Fleet. And um, I advised them that it would most likely be continued because of what was said. And they asked if they should, could, should come. And I said, well, I believe it's going to be continued, but you know, it is on the agenda for tonight, so. Okay, um, just for the uh, record and for um, um, uh, to follow up with the, uh, any members from the, uh, from the public and the community, uh, this matter is regard to um, a request by um, uh, effectively Fleet Boston on behalf of um, the Bank of America on um, on Park Street to increase lighting um, for the address. And um, at a previous meeting, it was continued over to uh, to give to afford everybody an opportunity to have a better idea of what the effect of that um, additional lighting might have, not only to that property particularly, but all the butters and the general area. Um, they, uh, approaches were made to the, um, the town and the Office of Engineering and uh, with all due um, acknowledgement that um, we, we don't have anybody on staff who has a particular background or, or skill or expertise in the effect of increased lighting. So the ability to afford a, um, a, uh, a realistic or understandable um, to be, uh, idea of what the effect of that increased lighting for that address might be uh, was could not be determined effectively was indeterminate. So we had, we decided I and other members of the board agreed that we should probably continue this matter until uh, a further date uh, in hopes of finding a way to either better um, inform all interested parties as to uh, the project itself and the effects there too. So with that in mind, um, I don't think we need a motion. There was an understanding, uh, a recommendation, and unless anybody on the board sees otherwise, um, I think the matter should just be continued until June 9th, once again, um, uh, and, but not put it on for status, um, put it on for full hearing. And in the event that the um, the applicant and or the town believes that that uh, st to have it on for full hearing once again um, is either too soon or um, wouldn't be a, uh, an effective use on the ninth, um, I think that will be that would just have to be determined in the interim. Um, thoughts, Vincent, Maria, yeah, on the, Jerry. On, on the matter is is it. The intent of the applicant to um, to bring their engineer um, to answer the questions that we have. 
my understanding is that isn't the case. Although Jerry, did did you have a conversation with them? Our our engineering team uh, doesn't have that. Uh, they don't have that knowledge. So their best bet is to get get themselves a lighting engineer who to show us what is actually there. And, and uh, I looked at the lighting that they had in one of the other communities and it, it's just not a good representation of, of what we have. So they need to show us something better. It's in my opinion. I, I agree with what Jerry just said. I don't think it's the burden is on us to, to prove that they can do it. I think the burden is on them to have an expert come prove it. You know, that's, they're the ones who want it, so. Right, they're seeking permission. So I, right. I would, I would assume that, you know, it's in everyone's best interest to have them, especially because they're going to get complaints after, um, as as well as the town. So I I think it's in their best interest. And if they don't have someone who can answer the questions, uh, to your point earlier, uh, Mr. Chairman, I don't think we should uh, take any time at the next meeting either having this on the agenda. So uh, the practical question would be, and I'll direct this to Jerry, um, is it uh, common for the town, your office to um, alert an applicant to, um, to in this case, in specifically engage um, um, an independent or a, uh, a lighting expert? I know that they, the last time they appeared, they had the, uh, the, in, the contractor was going to do the work for them. And I, they might offer that that, you know, is their guy, so to speak, but I'm not going to speak for them. They're not here. I don't want to in any way. Um, I, I require uh, them, to get, to them to get the proper design professional for that particular discipline. Um, and uh, then, then we ask for a, an actual stamp, a, an actual stamp and seal narrative. And it has to be from a Massachusetts licensed uh, uh, I should say, I'm sorry, certified uh, PE. So um, it's, it's basically a true, a, a true, uh, truth of testament. <clears throat> okay. So thoughts. If we um, we do continue it over to June 9th, um, Kathy, can we can we send them a formal acknowledgement of the continuance and within that correspondence, advise them to. Um, provide essentially what uh, Jerry just recited as um, what his office and basically on behalf of the town would want um, to um, to be required sure, for that I can, meeting. I can notify him that it's been continued to June 9th and that the board has requested that he provide that document. Great, thank you for that. Uh, in the event that, uh, and if there's any um, comeback uh, or um, hesitancy on the part of the applicant, um, please feel free to bring that to the attention of the board and um, we'll try to respond in kind so as to not further um, um, have to, need, to feel the need to continue or delay this uh, any further. So, all right, so to that point, um, uh, I don't think this really needs a vote. I know that the board had endorsed continuing the matter to uh, June 9th. And, uh, and uh, again, that is the, um, that will, that will be the resolution of 172 Park Street for this evening. Thank you, everybody. Um, so uh, having dealt with the um, prior continued matters, uh, I'd like to proceed to the, um, to the uh, scheduled uh, public hearing matters for this evening. Um, Regarding 212 Main Street, um, uh, is the, uh, let's see. hold on, just give me a moment. So is the, um, in this case, um, petition of uh, Craig Cox, Mr. Dr. Cox is a vet veterinarian, um, is, I don't see his name on the board. 
uh, Kathy. Um, Did you get a um, withdrawal from him on the um, request? Okay. The special permit? Great. Uh, thank you for that acknowledgement. So with regard to 212 Main Street, uh, the petition was withdrawn by the um, applicant for the special permit use. Thank you. Uh, our next matter. Um, I apologize, 50 Haverhill Street. Uh, are the, um, yes, we are here. In this case, uh, the Madero, thank you. Um, so with regard to um, uh, this matter, uh, hearing notice was sent out and published, virtual public hearing to be held on uh, Thursday, May 12th, uh, 2022, on the petition of Paulo Medeiros of 50 Haverhill Street, North Reading, map 40, parcel A, for a variance from the side setback for a garage addition and deck, according to the requirements outlined in the dimensional and density regulations of the North Reading uh, zoning bylaws. Um, on behalf of the applicant, um, uh, is it uh, uh, Juliana Medeiros? Yes, I'm here with the applicant as well, my father, yes. Good evening. Um, if you could, Ms. Medeiros, um, take a moment to um, uh, discuss and, uh, and inform the board of um, your petition. Um, sure, we would like to do in addition to the house, uh, we were only able, after discussing with the engineer and the architect, um, that we were only able to do to that side because we had the septic system on the other side and we will be a lot closer if we did to the addition to the right side to the wetlands. Um, and we will be close to the wetline um, board and I, that's why we are applying for the special permit. Uh, we don't have a backyard due to the wetlands um, worsening year by year. And so that's the reason why we're asking for um, the deck, a, a larger deck behind. So my, you know, my kids can actually play a little bit. So it'll be garage to one side deck expansion no, so the, the yeah yeah so the deck expansion yes yeah okay and um uh, is there any I, I know you've submitted um drawings and plans so thank you for that yes. um uh so if you see the red line right there, that's the addition that we're looking to do, which um, we would increase the kitchen up to here and the garage will go right here. And then the deck that we have, it's um, right now, it's um, as you can see, it's right here. So we would just um, asking for the deck to expand over here. Okay. And again, your father is the owner of the property. Yes, he's right behind me. I'm not sure if you can see yeah. him or not. No, uh, I can see him. Uh, yeah. that, thank you. Uh, out of curiosity, um, is it uh, how many people are living in the house at this time? I'm just curious. I mean, is it just one, is it your family or is it just his family or? Right now, um, right now it's my it's um, me, my kids um, and my parents. Okay, thank you. And uh, is your engineer, I mean, uh, is anybody who's developed any of your um, working plans with us tonight or is it just? No, he, they, he wasn't able um, to attend the meeting tonight. Um, it's Jack Sullivan, the one, the one that drew the plot plan. Okay. And, uh, before we get uh, through to town parties, um, uh, 
is there anything, any other concerns that you know of with regard to the construction that, other than the encroachment on the wetlands in particular, uh, as well as, I mean, the size and the, the movement of the, of the construction towards neighboring properties um, that we'll deal with when um, we open this to um, this conversation to the public. But in regards to, um, uh, it seems like the, the variance request to, um, to build over the, uh, as it encroaches upon the, uh, the lines, uh, is there anything else that um, uh, we should be made aware of? Uh, well, as I spoke with um, Jack Sullivan, um, we are willing to uh, remove the concrete patio that we have right here and also the pavers. So we would have more, um, we will have the grass, you know, like more permeable. Um, so this way will allow the water to flow more through the backyard in order okay, to gain you. more of the green land. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, are there any, um, is there anything else I just want, before I turn, open this up to um, comments from the public, I'm just wondering if there's anything else you might wanna add on or um, discuss with regard to your situation as to why you might need, um, in, I mean, the deck is understandable. I mean, just because it seems like you've got limited use of your backyard, but the garage itself, is that just, the garage itself is just because, you know, it's snow time. It's hard to pull um, the snow, the, snow, the plower. And we normally, we leave it in the front of the house. And it just, it doesn't look good, you know, to the eyes. It, it doesn't look good um, leaving our stuff here on the driveway. We just have a big driveway and we'll just make it easier um, for us if we just had the garage and then, you know, last plowing. And I mean, we live in New England, so you probably know how it goes. Uh, I think we all do. That's fine. Um, uh, is there anybody from the, uh, the community, uh, whether it's Haverhill Street or Butters, neighbors, um, who, have, uh, who, uh, who take uh, an interest in this project with us tonight on the, uh, on the um, matter. And Kathy, was any correspondence received from, um, from uh, any interested parties in support or uh, in opposition to um, I don't uh, the think Madeira? I don't anything on this property. I mean, I know Haverhill Street's a busy street and I know I, I drove by the uh, location today and I, you know, it, you know uh, the unfortunate thing about being on such a busy street again is neighbors are kind of, you know, kind of limited to, um, you know, effectively one side of the street, good or bad, as that case may be uh, for you. But um, I just wanted to uh, be sure about that. Jerry, um, uh, what's your review of the, um, the submitted project? Uh, I only have one question, which is, uh, are you adding a second kitchen? No. We are just expanding this, uh, the same kitchen. We're just making um, a little bigger, but we're not adding a second kitchen, no. Okay, that's all I needed to know. It's, if you do what we what I require is what we call a deed restriction, just to say that you're gonna be leaving it at, as a single. So, okay. uh, but other than that, I don't have any uh, questions and or issues. Uh, was any um, input sought from, uh, uh, since there is an encroachment on the wetlands, conservation and uh, or uh, maybe even planning, as the case may be, Kathy. So the I didn't say anything in the file, but the planning what's that board isn't meeting until the seventeenth, so they didn't get together to comment on any of the hearings tonight. Okay. And uh, Jerry, is the common practice because of the uh, the encroachment or the the position towards the wetlands is conservation. Does that just go through the submitted application through town hall, or is it in, is it upon the um, applicant to uh, to get any um, input from them? She she may she may have to possibly file an NOI at 
a notice of intent, um, depending how close she is to the wetlands. I believe if you see the plot plan, I think we are, um, I believe, let me, hold on, let me pull the plan again. I'm sorry, hold on. Uh, we pull back about a feet or two from the wetlands um, on the side. So it would only, I think the closer, the closer will be, will be the deck, but even then um, we are like, I think we are within our, um, the, you know, the boarding from the wetlands. It's just that it's just close to the wetlands. Oh, you know, the conservation wouldn't look where the actual structure is. They would look where you're digging. And yes, uh, that's exactly what, what I'm looking, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> One of the interests uh, that um, I think Jerry could could speak to this, and I mean, just as an acknowledgement, and this is just um, um, for your benefit, um, Ms. Madero, Mrs. Medeiros, is that the the idea of you you wouldn't want to get caught after your project has been the caught. I apologize. You wouldn't want to run into a situation after the project has begun where you, you in particular to this deck, and then find out that uh, conservation comes in and says, uh, no, for whatever reason they might point or pre present. Now, I'm not saying they're going to, okay. but um, there might be an interest on your, and again, I, I'm only trying to, um, uh, I have a bad habit, my wife will, jump into the Zoom to acknowledgement. I have a bad habit of thinking out loud. Um, and, uh, you know, um, uh, my father was a man of few words. I unfortunately went to law school. So that's how these things go. But, uh, you know, there's a lot to be said for possibly considering uh, giving them a notice of intent, having them, uh, I don't think planning, I, I mean, I can't speak for planning, but planning probably won't take a position either, although they might acknowledge common practices is that they might just say, point out uh, when, you know, what conservation might want to be appraised of. And just that, um, before you go any further, what's your timeline? Have you established a timeline on the uh, project? Uh, we were hoping- and Everybody wants, I, I apologize, everybody wants to dig and build right away, so. Yeah, but we were hoping to start building um, in June, so the house will actually be ready for um, for the winter. Okay, um, Kathy, when is planning next meeting? They are meeting on the seventeenth. Seventeenth May. May, yes. And. Uh, uh, I've never had to put anything before conservation. Can someone maybe enlighten me as to timeline with regard to um, that office? I would- Kathy, you, you, you could do that. If you haven't already, Juliana, I would touch base with the conservation agent because uh, she has to sign off on the building permit. So if that would hold you up if you don't need to, if you need to go before her. So I would check as soon as you can. Sure, I uh, will be there tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they meet monthly, if not twice. Um, so I think Jack would know if he needed to file though. Kathy, tomorrow morning wouldn't be good because Leah is only in on mm -hmm. Tuesdays, right? Right, so, and there, there won't be anybody in for conservation tomorrow. Next Tuesday she'll be in. Okay, so Tuesday works better, yes. As a matter of fact, the addition to this side um, of the house, it was Leah's idea. She came by the property about a year and a half ago because um, I had questions about the conservation land and what, we, you know, what could be done um, to make my yard look a little better. And so <laughs> it was actually her idea to build to that side. Oh, that's good. 
So yeah. <laughs> well, that, that doesn't hurt now, does it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I mean, uh, uh, while this is the zoning board of appeals, and it might seem like the zoning board of continuances this evening, um, I might suggest to the applicant to um, ask for a continuance to our June 9th date. Um, my belief is, um, and I'm I thank you for, and uh, I'm very much. Appreciate. I know I am, and I'm sure the board is as well, of uh, the uh, the plans and project um, submission that you've uh, you've you've given to us. But with the other two um, parties, in this case, both planning, and more especially perhaps uh, conservation, uh, acknowledging the project, I think you uh, this, this board would be in a much more um, uh, uh, confident. Uh, in its grant of an appeal as needed for the, uh, the amount of space you're looking for. So, and I don't think it would in any way delay your uh, project timeline. Um, but again, that that's an, uh, incumbent upon you to decide if you want to um, put it over for a matter of about um, three weeks uh, to get back in front of us. But in the interim, uh, uh, get in front of planning and obviously access conservation come Tuesday. Okay, so in order to get things moving, I was really hoping that you guys would agree with the plan um, today. And then obviously I will get conservation, um, you know, to see the plans as well. And so, cause we were really hoping to start building like the beginning of June, you know, no later than the second week of June. So, and I, and I don't know how long it takes for the permit to issue. So I don't know what are your input on this. Well, the question on the timeline, uh, uh, with no opposition from the, the, I mean, we can change the 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 appeal time. Um, the question I would ask to you is. Um, you know, Jerry, maybe you can assist on this. Um, they, they, if it would appear that they're going to need conservation to sign off to get the building permit in and of itself, and that's not going to happen any sooner than Tuesday, right? Um, planning, uh, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not and I don't know if anybody else on the board is, I'm not well versed in the, um, the, the time and the, the signing off of um, project permitting, et cetera. So maybe you can speak to what Mrs. Medeiros is um, raising to us right now. What you're looking for is a, that's uh, quite the open question. Reason being is because we have the we have the energy codes that we that we have to go by, and we have to make sure that you have everything relative to energy. We have the mechanical codes that we go by, and making sure that everything is relative to uh, mechanical. I look at all the structural, um, and I make sure that everything is is going to be in accordance uh, to to the building code. Um, so, if you have everything in order, and your design professional, or whoever that may be, whoever you have working with you. If they have everything in order, then you, it's it's probably within about a week and a half to two weeks tops. Kathy, does that sound correct? Um, yeah, I don't think she, I think if she got the variance, she could go before CONCOM at a later date if she needed to. Um, she's not gonna get before CONCOM before June, probably because she's gotta notify in the paper and so forth. Um, but if she did get a variance, she could always go to CONCOM afterwards. Yeah, and CONCOM is another, another lengthy, lengthy time, unfortunately. But as far as the building, that sounds correct, yeah. You, you said you spoke with Leah previously. Did Leah give you the inclination that this was going to be, was not going to be an issue? Yes, she said that because I told her um, 
we were having issues on Haverhill Street with the poles. There was an accident every time and my kids always play on the front yard due to the backyard, the wetlands. And so she came out and she took, um, she saw the, you know, the land. And I said, listen, we can't do anything. Like we can't take care of, you know, of the backyard. And she said, well, we can even put, I said, we can even put an addition. It's like, no, you can put an addition over here. And she actually showed me exactly to where. It's where, that's exactly where the red line is. She said, you can do an addition right here, up to here, where my driveway actually ends. So, and that's exactly where the idea came from. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna open the, uh, any input from the board with regard to uh, this matter? Can I just ask Mr. Chairman the uh, sort of the reverse, because if we granted something tonight, there's also a 21 day appeal period, correct? Yes. So that's gonna further delay. Excuse, I'm just excuse wondering me. if- Excuse if me if I can correct that, that's 20 day appeal period. 20, okay, 20, 20, not 21. 20 day. Um, that where, so, it, so if, if we did approve, the, the other two boards could also be conditional to issuing um, our ruling, correct? Well, if the process, it seems to me is that the idea of a conditional grant is always an interesting um, thought. And it, in past situations, I've t always taken note that it's rare that someone doing a, a project of this nature of, a, of building in any way that has, has already approached uh, in more most usually is, and I think the board would agree, is uh, planning, community planning. And um, the conservation obviously is approached when, in this case, uh, you know, the property borders um, protected interests. It you, you know, Correct me if I'm wrong, but it always seems as if we we're usually the last um, party to be approached in these processes. And um, I'm not trying to uh, in any way in, uh, say that everybody's trying to move around. I I'm I'm not too sure we have the ability to grant a variance uh, conditioned upon a subsequent grant or approval by, in this case, um, planning and or conservation or any anybody else. I mean, it's it's usually those, those interests because they're so much more finite you either are in violation of the conservation law or you're not. And they're, by being black and white, uh, in situations like this for us, we're creating, we're going outside of black and white in granting a variance or any kind of appeal or special permit. Everything we do in so very many ways is to allow for those matters that could never make it statutorily or into the code or bylaws, okay? So um, I'm not trying to stop or prevent or delay a project from its starting completion, but at the same time, um, the idea of a conditional grant of a variance, um, I can't say that I, Maybe I'm wrong, but it just seems that that's not the role or the, not the role, that's not the, um, the purpose of this board's um, 
mission, if not obligation. How's that even better? Um, but again, if I may, Bob. Sure, Kathy, thank you. I think in this case, a variance is the first step because if she doesn't get a variance, it's not worth going to conservation because you're not going to allow her to build that close. So okay. In conservation, if she's within 100 feet, she's within their jurisdiction. They have a 12 foot buffer that they won't let you disturb. Yes, unfortunately, without the grant of the board for the variance, I won't be able to move forward because they're going to ask me if you guys allowed it or not. So that's exactly why I'm here today um, as directed per Jack Sullivan, who drew the plot plan and told me first you got to get the variance, then you go and talk to conservation. So that's why I'm here tonight asking okay. you know, for the, for the variance first. Okay, that's fine. I'm inclined to grant. I mean, I've, uh, I've Excuse me, is there any other public uh, input or, um, or conversation, neighbors of Butters, anybody uh, who might want to um, offer uh, testimony and or thoughts? Okay, I'd like to move it into conversation and discussion within the board itself. Um, Vincent and Maria, um, I'm inclined. I, I, can, I can understand their hardship. Um, I think it's, 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 uh, it's both um, legitimate and uh, sincere. Um, and uh, uh, the idea that they've, it seems, I think from the conversation that I heard, they scaled back the project somewhat. Um, in order to um, uh, comply. There hasn't been any uh, 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 opposition uh, voiced at tonight's hearing or submitted, unless Kathy has something uh, that uh, we haven't heard uh, to the town with regard to, um, to the proposed uh, application. So I, I'm, I'm not trying to short conversation this but I I'm I'm, uh, I'm open to hearing if there's anybody else who has concerns including Jerry obviously always welcome uh, your input I haven't received any comments from neighbors thank you Kathy and the request uh, is for for a 10 foot variance correct Uh, let's see. I believe so, but let me just double check on the um, on the plot plan. Give me one second. That is correct, 10 foot variance. According to the pot plan, and it's, I'm um, assuming it's certified, uh, it's a 10 foot variance. So, uh, Vincent, uh, it looks like it's a 10, a 10 foot request. Like you, I'm, I'm inclined and, you know, agreed. I, I think we're ready to move forward and support this as as you said everything um that's been submitted you know has been in good faith and um clearly a hardship um and and i think quite frankly the conservation has has already influenced the way that the project was approached so i, I i'm ready to vote okay um maria if you're uh available in, in thoughts. If she's trying, she's muted. <laughs> oh, hi, can you hear me now? There we go. Yeah. Okay, my daughter just unmuted it. That's how good I am on these. Um, yes, I am inclined to agree. It's only a 10, 10 foot variance, yes. All right, so um, uh, can I get a motion to close the uh, public hearing? So moved. 
Uh, I motion to close so, the public hearing. Thank you. Uh, if someone wants to make a, um, uh, I apologize. I know there were drafts of uh, the orders and uh, I'm trouble, I'm not accessing them. Um, if anybody has access to the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the proposed drafts of the, um, uh, or would like to make a motion with regard to the underlying matter. Oh. I would move uh, the petition of Paulo Medeiros, 50 Haverhill Street, North Reading, Mass, Map 40, Parcel 8, for a variance from side yard setback for a garage addition for the setback requirements for the table of dimensions and density regulations of the North Reading zoning bylaws. Um, plot plan has been reviewed and determined that um, the shape of the lot, um, that enforcement of the bylaw would involve substantial hardship and desirable relief could be granted here tonight, um, that we would vote in favor of granting a 10 foot variance from the westerly side setback to allow construction of said garage addition in accordance with the plan submitted to the board. Uh, thank you, Vincent. I'd only add to that um, um, uh, additional language acknowledging the deck. Uh, so it's a garage and deck construction. Correct, Mrs. Madero? Yes, please. Okay. So garage um, and deck. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, can I get a, uh, would, would anybody like to second that um, motion? I'm Maria Lockhart, second this motion. Thank you. Um, all in favor of the uh, proposed um, application for a permit, variance permit. I, Maria Lockhart. I, Vincent Ragucci. I, Bob Breen. Uh, thank you. So um, uh, again, attending to the, um, uh, the discussion and the, uh, the grant here too, um, the uh, permit uh, will be drafted and signed and be available probably, Ms. Medeiros, the beginning of the of next week, okay. uh, which will give you opportunity to carry it in. Uh, there is a 20 day appeal period, which affords anybody who is uh, only now learning of it and has a has a legitimate interest to um, to uh, appeal it. But um, failing that, um, you should be able to proceed accordingly with. Um, uh, construction and um, as needed. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for tonight. Thank you. Sure. Good luck with your, uh, your project and thank you for, um, for uh, uh, bringing it to our attention and in and, and tonight's uh, hearing. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, the apologies. Uh, our next matter, um, I'm here. Uh, all the parties here with regard to um, uh, 28 Pleasant Street, a variance for a garage addition. Uh, in particular, um, applicant um, Richard Beter or, uh, or representative there too? I think she's muted. There you go. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. I, I, <laughs> I always ask before we, we read the hearing notice just to be sure that uh, uh, the, the party attendant is here. So with regard, um, hearing uh, is uh, to be held this evening, Thursday, May 12th, on the petition of Richard Vida, uh, 28 Pleasant Street, North Reading, Mass, Map 63, Parcel 22, for a variance from the side setback for a garage addition, according to the requirements outlined in the dimensional and density regulations of the North Reading zoning bylaws. Um, on behalf of the petitioner, uh, who is here? And if you could, for the record, just state your name. Mary Jo Vieter. Uh, good evening, Ms. Vieter. Good evening. Um, uh, what, can, uh, what can you tell us about um, uh, this, um, garage addition that you uh, are seeking uh, variance for? Uh, so it would be attached to the house. 
you know, two car garage, very standard, uh, nothing crazy, no room above or anything like that. Just basically, I mean, you know, winters in New England are rough. So, <laughs> and I'm sick of shoveling that big driveway. <laughs> so that's basically what it's for. Okay. Um, I believe you have everything there, outlines and plans and drawings. So I, uh, from, uh, thank you. Um, uh, uh, so we received, I know, um, which was forward to us was the um, uh, engineering plot plan uh, uh, showing the um, proposed addition an outright um, garage construction, not, mm -hmm. a, not a change in anything that's already existing there. Right. Um, uh, was there um, was there anything else uh, submitted other than that that plan, Kathy? Because I'm only looking at the one image. Okay, thank you. So the need for the variance is um, because it encroaches upon, it's gonna be fifth, just 15, 15 and a half feet from the, um, uh, the setback on the, the existing property line to the, is it the west? That's what I'm gathering. Jerry, if you could. I see no north south legend over here, but it looks like it's going to be going to the to the left side of the of the house with the existing driveway. Is is that correct? Uh, Mrs. Vieta. Yes, I'm looking at it. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. I took a drive so by again, here today, so. Oh, it's a ahead. tiny drawing from where I sit. <laughs> but again, it's um, it's just again 15, 15 and a half feet uh, according to this. Um, yeah, that looks uh, proposed right. drawing. Mm -hmm. Correct. So that's what the um, the need for the uh, the grant, the variance grant, because of that that uh, encroachment. Um, uh, is there anything else you need to, you might want to um, alert the uh, board to with regard to um, what's your timeline on the um, the project? And uh, well, uh, just uh, as soon as possible, really just want to get it going, you know. Okay. Um, is there anybody from, uh, from the community, most especially um, neighbors of Butters, um, um, people that live near or on Pleasant Street that um, uh, are with us tonight that might have thoughts or comments with regard to the, um, the uh, project proposed. Okay, um, Jerry, uh, while we're still in that hearing, uh, any thoughts or um, uh, with regard to the, um, the project that's submitted from your viewpoint? No, everything looks looks common. It's your your common construction, your your common addition garage. I, I I really don't have any questions or or anything on that. I know there were no elevations submitted, but um, I would I took a ride down Pleasant. It doesn't uh, you know you're not on a sloping lot of any kind. If anybody else on the board is interested, it doesn't seem like as Jerry said, it looks like a very standard form. And it is just again a simple garage construction, but again it is uh, pushing um, towards the uh, the neighboring property, which would be twenty six Pleasant Street. Um, uh, Kathy, did we get any uh, uh, input from? Uh, is it uh, Wayne mm -hmm. Geischer and or? Um, somebody who is only no, using I, 26 Pleasant. I didn't get any comments from the butters. Any and uh, 
publication was made, right? So we're oh, all, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Um, at this time, I'd like to open it up to um, the board to see if they have any uh, questions or thoughts with regard to the um, plan as submitted. No questions for me. Me either. And again, it's 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 a single law. Well, there's nothing as a uh, just so just to reiterate. Um, this is a uh, Vieta. Um, nothing above. It's just no. Not going to be above. built to house two vehicles. Right. Okay. Exactly. Um, okay. Um, So I think it, if the map line on the plan is correct, it would. I think it's easy to address it as being on the southern side, uh, again adjacent to um, attend, uh, abutting a uh, 26 Pleasant Street, uh, the Guy Shecker property. Um, I'm going to move to um, to close the um, hearing. Um, Second. And I'd well, uh, thank you. Uh, I'd welcome anybody who'd like to make a um, a propose uh, propose a um, uh, uh, for the, uh, finding. I will move, uh, the petition of Richard Veter, 28 Pleasant Street, North Reading, Mass, map 63, parcel 22, for variance from the side yard setback for a garage addition per the setback requirements for the table of dimensional and density regulations uh, of the North Reading zoning bylaws. After our review of the plot plan and determination that um, the shape of the lot and enforcement of the bylaw would involve substantial hardship to the applicant and that the desirable relief will be granted um, without detriment to the public good and without uh, derogating from the intent of the bylaw. Um, therefore, would would move for a ten foot variance from the southerly side back uh, side <laughs> setback uh, to allow the construction of the garage addition in accordance with the plan submitted to the board. Uh, thank you, Vincent. Uh, do I have a second? Still there, Maria? She or at least her daughter to help her with the uh, beauty. <laughs> to unmute. Hi, I'm here. I'm Maria Lockhart, second that motion. Thank you. Um, call the question, all in favor? I'm Maria Lockhart. Hi, Vincent Ragucci. I Bob Green. Uh, so closes the hearing and mm -hmm. with the uh, the acknowledgement of the uh, the grant. So, um, uh, Mrs. Vieira, there's again a 20 day uh, appeal process mm -hmm. um, uh, after which, but the um, the uh, the um, order of grant will very likely be available to you beginning of next week. Um, and again, um, uh, it, with any luck, you should be able to to break ground. Um, as um, as hoped for. Awesome. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you so thank you so much for the um, for bringing it to our attention and the um, the, uh, the 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 submission and the drawing uh, certainly helped a great deal. Uh, mm -hmm. Good luck with the project. Thank you so thank much. You Have a good night. Have, Have a good, good night. Evening. night. Thank you. Okay, um, night. Our, our night. final agenda matter uh, attendant is uh, Eight Linder Road, a variance. To add a mudroom and connect the existing garage to the house, the applicant in this matter, uh, Douglas and Patricia Noonan, uh, are the Noonans with us or a representative on their behalf? Yes, we are. Can you hear us? Yes, we yes. can. Uh, right. Good evening, Mr. Noonan. Um, so uh, with regard to this matter, a virtual a public hearing will be held on Thursday, May 12, 2022. Uh, at on the petition of Douglas and Patricia Noonan of 8 Lindor Road, North Reading, Mass Map 53, Parcel 56, for a variance from the side setback to attach the existing garage and creating a mudroom between the garage and their house, according to the requirements outlined in the dimensional and density regulations of the North Reading 
zoning bylaws. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Noonan. Um, if you could um, take a moment uh, to uh, uh, enlighten us on the uh, project plan that you've um, submitted a request for. Okay, yep, we're just looking to, we have the opposite problem to the other two people. We already have the garage. We'd just like to attach it to the home to, uh, for safety and convenience to get out of the we're weather. Expanding. We're expanding. Right, so um, um, with, so exp um, that's more the, uh, the question that uh, I have. Um, when you say expanding, I mean, I, the space between your, um, your home and the garage, uh, just from, um, oh, I'm sorry, from the property line. Well, I'm trying, uh, so I'm looking at the plan and I'm trying to get a, better sense of the build back or you have that Kathy does that help you better with the plan uh yeah why don't you put that up this this shows the front of it what's that are you seeing the front of it oh I'm sorry uh, I'm, you? no we don't we don't I'm see sorry. anything there we go. This is the uh, plot plan. Okay, thank you. Can you bring up those other drawings? Uh, thoughts from the uh, the board and or Jerry or uh, apologies. Um, is anybody from the uh, from the community, the neighborhood um, available or, or or wishes to um, offer thoughts on the project? There was a letter submitted from one of the neighbors. If anybody could add those to the record, that would be appreciated. Do I can read it? Please. I was out um, there today and met with Mr. Noonan, and uh, this is this looks pretty straightforward. He's only looking to put uh, um, a breezeway between a garage and a house. Mm -hmm. Uh, my husband, Brian Genron, and I are the owners of 10 Lindor Road, North Reading, Mass. Our neighbors at 8 Lindor Road, Mr. and Mrs. Noonan, requested that we reach out to you regarding their request for a variance to attach their existing garage to their house. Please note that we do not oppose. Okay, thank you. So effectively, Jerry, your read of it is it's just a simple build up in a, 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 between the two structures. That is correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah I got to jump in here and just say that we are looking to bump out the exterior of the house and attach the garage with the mudroom to the addition we're looking to build. Again, like I think Jerry is saying, it's pretty straightforward. So is the conceptual. Am I, I'm just, I wanna be sure I'm not missing something here. And um, the, 
the build out in the back. Well, that okay. That's the mudroom. That's the mudroom, and and the addition is to the left hand side of that, correct? But that additional build out is just going to stay in line with the existing rear of the home. Yes. Correct. It's 18 feet out toward the back and then the length of the house. Okay. So the only relief ask uh, being requested is the 10 foot variance for the garage, for the garage. I mean, yeah, the garage. Okay. Um, Anything else uh, from uh, from the applicant or from the community? Otherwise, I'm going to open it up to the board's thoughts. In particular, Jerry, as you read of this, is as a pretty straightforward standard construction, um, and the need to increase the line is not. Uh, it would appear that it's not a detriment being addressed or saw, seen by the, the neighbor, which is obviously helpful. Uh, to the applicant, is there is there any other input from the uh, from the board or uh, from your office? I don't have any questions. Uh, Maria, any any thoughts or or are you? Uh, or are you um, okay with the uh, the applicant application petition? You're muted again. Just getting home. So um, we're just waiting on um, um, Maria. I I see no problems. I think it is as described a very straightforward project, um, and um, while the burden is 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 not particularly compelling, it 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 it, sh it creates no hardship to. Um, the community or impact on the neighboring properties uh, as designed. It's a modest uh, construction project. Thank you. Um, So 
So if there's if there isn't any further um, input from the board, um, I'd welcome. Uh, I'm going to move to um, close the um, the public hearing. I'll second that. Thank you. Uh, and at this time, um, I'd welcome uh, uh, if anybody would like to um, make a motion uh, with regard to um, the application for variance. So I will move um, the petition of Douglas and Patricia Noonan, 8 Lindor Road, North Reading, Mass, map 53, parcel 56 for variance from the side yard setback to add a mudroom and attach <coughs> the existing detached garage per the setback requirements per the table of dimensional and density regulations of the North Reading zoning bylaws. Um, after reviewing the plot plan and determination that um, owing the shape of the lot, uh, literal enforcement by the bylaw would involve substantial hardship the applicant and that the relief may be granted without detriment to the public good and without derogating from the intent of the bylaw. Therefore, we move to vote a grant, uh, an easement of, uh, I'm sorry, a variance, uh, 10 foot variance from the northerly side setback to allow construction of the garage addition in accordance with the plans that were submitted to the board. Thank you. I'll um, I'll offer a second on that uh, motion. Um, with that, um, I'm going to call the uh, matter for a vote from the board. Uh, all in favor? Vincent Ragucci, aye. I am Maria Lockhart, aye. Bob Green, aye. Uh, so voted and so passed. Um, so to um, to the Noonans. Um, uh, the, uh, again, there'll be a 20 day um, appeal period during which anybody from the public can um, raise objection and or concerns. Uh, failing that after that 20 day period, the order is, is um, fully effective. Uh, you should be able to get a copy of the, um, of the uh, grant on your petition uh, at, at town hall at the beginning of next week. Uh, thank you for um, taking the time to submit and uh, good luck with the, um, with the project. Okay, um, thank you all for your time and your, thank you. Okay, have a good evening. Yeah, good night. Night. Um, So uh, given the, um, the limitations upon the board tonight for various reasons, uh, I'm gonna move that the minutes from our meeting of um, uh, April 14th that we, um, we put that matter off uh, for um, uh, passage until uh, our June meeting of June 9th. Um, and that's, thank you. Um, at this time, um, I'm asking if there's any new or old business that might be brought uh, to the board. Uh, failing that, um, if anybody would like to uh, move, um, uh, again, uh, just to be clear, next meeting, um, Thursday, June 9th. Um, if anybody would like to move to um, close tonight's hearing and meeting, um, uh, the board is open to um, that um, request. So moved, I move to adjourn. Uh, second, all in favor of adjour adjournment. Hi, Maria Lockhart. Hi, Vincent Magucci. Hi, Bob Breen, thank you. Uh, so noted, so closed. Uh, thank everybody for um, tonight's um, uh, participation and uh, the conduct of the business and um, good luck with the rest of your day. Uh, good luck with your day tomorrow and um, see everybody on uh, June 9th. Thank you. Thank care. you, Kathy. Thank you. Enjoy your time thank off. And uh, thank you again, Jerry. Well, thank like you, Kath and Jerry. Bye. Take care.